Good morning everyone. We are heading into Boston. We've got a little bit of snow going on here. The main roads are fine. So I am heading into Dana-Farber to see my multiple myeloma specialist. I come about every six months to see him. We're in Boston now. As you can tell, there isn't any snow here. We've got about a half an hour before my appointment. We should be there in about 10 minutes. So we made it on time. We're almost at Dana-Farber. I just got my labs done. I have about 40 minutes before I go to the doctor. We're now in the healing garden. It's a really pretty place. I'm gonna stay here until it's time to go to the doctor. This is the hospital district, busy area. Still early in the morning. It'll get busier. I had a really good appointment at Dana Farber yesterday in Boston. This is my cat, Phelan. She doesn't wanna look at the camera. Maybe she will later, but um, she's a real sweetie. She's 14 and a half years old. So my appointment went well. I really like my Boston multiple myeloma specialist. We talked about how I'm doing with multiple myeloma and the side effects that I'm dealing with. So those of you who have been watching my videos all along uh, know that I've had terrible issues with my GI tract from the Revlimid and the main symptom is diarrhea. Now I know it's not a subject that people like to talk about, but this is what I deal with. And by talking about it, what I've tried, what works, what doesn't work, I'm hoping that I can help other multiple myeloma patients not feel so alone and I'm not afraid to talk to the doctor that they're having diarrhea because honestly, it was even hard for me to talk to my doctor. I mean, you're like, oh geez, I'm having diarrhea, you know, and you feel all embarrassed, but you know, everybody gets it. You know, there's nothing to be embarrassed about it. So, like I said, I've tried every drug, um, prescription drug and over-the-counter drug, and nothing has helped me. Um, I asked to go back on cholestyramine. I hope that's showing up okay. I'll put the name down in the description of the video, but this is um, cholestyramine that's sold in a canister rather than in the little packets. So the problem with the packets, my gastro doctor says is, you know, it's just, it's a one dose thing. And they wanted me to maybe try half the dose to see um, how that would do. And let me just backtrack for a second. The full dose ended up causing me the opposite problem. So I went from diarrhea to constipation. And that has its own issues. So they said try half a packet, but it's really hard to measure out half of that little packet. So my gastro doctor said they have the canister, there's a little scoop and you can play with it. Like you can go half, one third, etc. So we're still trying to regulate this. What has happened is, you know, I went from one extreme to the other and they added in Cinna to help me go because it was causing me constipation. And it was really frustrating because you're trying to stop the diarrhea by taking this drug, but then this drug ended up causing another problem. So we're still working on that. And it is very, very frustrating. And it's just not the fact like, oh gosh, you know, I'm gonna get sick. I mean, it's very painful that I, what I'm dealing with, with my stomach all the time. So that is that. And a few people have asked me, how am I doing with the Keto K1000 electrolyte powder? I did a whole video on leg cramps and how this has helped me. And I am happy to say that this is still working beautifully. I can go two to three weeks without any cramps anymore. I mean, that is amazing because I was getting them 24 seven and they were so painful and just affecting me terribly. So this stuff works great. I mean, it is winter time now, so you're not as sweaty. So I've cut down to um, one dose a day. I split it up, um, you know, half and half versus two full doses. But once the warm weather comes up and you are sweating more from working out, I'll go back to doing two full doses. So um, if you're having leg cramps from the Revlimid, that definitely helps. So as far as the fatigue, it has hit me so hard. It's, I've had fatigue right along from um, the Revlimid, but it has just shot up drastically. And 
I am so tired, guys. It's not like, oh, I missed a night's sleep and I'm tired and tonight I'll go to bed and I'll get the rest and feel better tomorrow morning. It doesn't matter how many hours you sleep. I am absolutely exhausted all the time. And I know many of you see me out and about, riding bikes, canoeing, kayaking, hiking, and hopefully, if we ever get snow here in New England, be out snowshoeing. What you don't see on the videos is me having to stop and lay down on the side of the trail, me just having to sit down on a rock if I'm hiking, etc., because I'm so exhausted. And sometimes just laying for a few minutes, I can get a little bit more energy with me. So the fatigue is real, brutal to be honest with you. And the other thing is I am only getting about five hours sleep a night. So they suggested I talk to my primary care doctor about like some sleeping type medicine. I really don't want to take that. Um, but at the same time, the fatigue um, is so intense that I don't know. I'll see what my primary care doctor says about that. And if I do decide to take that, I will do another video on that. Those of you who don't know me, I go to Boston twice a year and every month I go to my local Dana Fiber for the treatment. Boston comes up with the treatment plan. It's great having the local Dana Fiber so I don't have to go into Boston every single month. My local oncologist wanted me to, to discuss with my specialist the fatigue my stomach issues and also the pretty intense um, brain fog, chemo brain that they call it. Um, it's, oh my gosh, it's really tough. And I remember um, talking to someone once and they're like, well, I told you, well, but it must be your chemo brain that forgot. And I just found that like so rude to say to someone, um, just repeat what you had to say and just tell me again. You don't have to like say, oh, it's because you have, you know, your chemo brain. Unfortunately, that happens when you're on treatment um, for a long, long time. And there doesn't seem to be anything that can be done about that, unfortunately. So what my local oncologist suggested is I asked Boston if I can go on a two to three month break from the Revlimid. And he did agree. Um, my numbers have been stable. My M spike just doesn't go down um, to where they would like it to be. Um, I'm about, not about, I am literally a half a point away from having to switch treatment plans, but I've been staying in this range for many, many, many months. They don't want to make a change until it gets past that um, 0.5. He did agree to um, let me take the break off the Revlimid. I've been on this treatment plan for four years and four months, and it has really caught up with me. And I'm grateful that he's going to let me take a break. The only other break I had was when my son got married. Because, like I said, my, my number is very close to where I would have to switch treatment plans, there's a big chance that by going off, I'm just going to set it off to go higher so i will be having monthly labs they will be monitoring it and if it stays the same hopefully i can get two to three good months off the revlimid and then i will have to go back on it if the numbers do shoot up they will immediately put me back on the revlimid and obviously the hope is that it will bring it back down but if it doesn't, like I said, we'll have to switch treatment plans. So it is a risk, a gamble, whatever you want to call it. But I need this break. Um, I really do. And we will cross that bridge at that time. So um, prayers, if you do them, fingers crossed, whatever, um, that my numbers don't shoot up. So that is pretty much it. We will be continuing to go for labs every single month and I will give you guys updates. So thank you guys for watching. For those of you who are new to multiple myeloma diagnosis and those who have been um, battling it, um, I wish you all the best. Please ask me any questions. Not that I have the answers to everything, but um, I try my best to respond to every comment. I do get delayed, guys, but I will make a point to eat, answer each and every one of you. So be well. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble. Always be kind. Receive my little Phelan. Say bye, Phelan.
she's purring like crazy. I don't know if you can hear it in the camera, but she's a little love. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.